Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would just like to thank my viewers and everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I would also like to thank everyone who has purchased a reading with me and everyone who has commented on my videos. I don't have time to answer everyone, but I do read each and every comment, so thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Um, if it does not, please check your moon and your rising sign for your messages. Uh, it can be that sometimes, uh, some months, it may not resonate with you at all. And, you know, that's okay because we read for a lot of people. So go check another reader and check back in another time. So... And this is going to be for the sign of Taurus for the last part of April moving forward. These energies can play out to as much as six months. So here we go. Your overall energy at the bottom of the deck, you have the three of coins. This uh, tells me that you are trying to develop something. And it's something that you're passionate about. But it's still a three, so it can take time to develop this. But the right people are going to show up to help you. Under that card, I see that we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is saying that you are on the right path. And there is success for you down the road, but it's going to be, in, um, it's going to be very slow, okay? Under that, we have the Judgment card, and this is all about destiny, uh, karma. It's an answered prayer. It's a chance to wipe the slate clean and start again, and this is what you're doing here. The Judgment card can represent a, an answered prayer, and this comes after an ending of some kind here with this Ten of Swords. So either it's the end of a job or the end of a relationship and you are beginning again. Know that you are on the right path. At the center of this reading, we have the, uh, the hanged man. And the hanged man, um, it speaks to waiting. Um, a change of perspective is needed, and you know, a change in how you think. Um, it's the sacrifice card, so something may have to be given up for greater gain. It can also speak to uh, you having sacrificed a lot for someone, and you're thinking about, like, how much more can you give to that person or to that job? So up here, I see that there is a change of fortune coming in. If you have been down on your luck, things are about to get a whole lot better. This, again, speaks to destiny and fate. These are opportunities coming in for whatever it is you are trying to do, um, whether you are starting your life over again after a separation, because it does sit above justice here or whether you are trying to build a, um, a new business or starting a new job and having to learn to train for that job. So this, whatever happens here that starts this change, you have to take the decision whether you are going to take that path or not. And I have two decision cards here. Um, side by side and you can see here in this two of swords uh, that it is quite an emotional decision for you and so i would think that for me uh, this card would speak to a relationship issue and this two here for me is speaking to a work situation So, either way, 
there's indecision here. If, um, if this is a job issue, um, it's possible that, you know, you are not being recognized for the work you, you do or being paid enough. Um, perhaps you were promised something that never, never came about. Um, because this card can speak to disillusionment and unfulfilled promises. And that can speak even to relationships. Um, with those cards there, I have the Hermit, who speaks to enlightenment, um, going within. Um, it could be for some of you, you already know the answer. This here would suggest that this person does know the answer. They're just having a hard time to to make that final cut. If we are speaking about somebody who has already made this break and you are waiting on some sort of legal decision uh, that is coming, and it will be a, a fair outcome, a fair decision for you. Um, this, the Justice and the Eight of Wands, would speak to an end to delays. And you could receive this news by phone, uh, text, email. Um, if it's illegal, I doubt you're going to receive it by text, but at any rate... Uh, you will receive this. It comes by air uh, with these uh, wands here. So um, some sort of uh, telecommunication, uh, telephone, email. Um, here we have the moon and we have the four of coins. And that is sitting under the two of wands and the hermit. This is telling me that you are confused. There's, you don't have all your answers. And this is probably what is uh, stopping you from making this decision. Um, again, this card speaks to uh, illusion, perhaps some sort of deception that went on with either within a couple or uh, at the workplace. And a need to take a deeper look at things. Um, fear of taking a risk to start this, whatever this uh, is that you are trying to start up, perhaps the fear is for that. Um, holding on tightly, waiting for things to get better, um, kind of uh, safeguarding what you have left, protecting yourself as you go forward. This card would represent fear of stepping out of your comfort zone. But over here, we have the death card. So this all works up to this. And so this is a transformation that you are going to make, and you will make it, that is going to move you towards either a person or a job or a project, something that is the perfect match for you. The death card speaks to absolute endings and absolute beginnings. And it is generally a welcome change. We cannot let fear hold us back. Anytime there's a change in our life, there's fear attached to it. But if none of us ever advanced, you know, uh, we just wouldn't get anywhere. If we, all, if we let our fear hold us here, we wouldn't get anywhere. We wouldn't accomplish anything. And so this transformation comes in to move you forward. And know that this is all being divinely guided and you are protected through this. The chariot here uh, speaks to forward movement, 
it's some kind of movement and it can be it can also indicate um, a change of job or a change of home it's some kind of movement and temperance brings in healing brings in balance she she's saying you need to have this balance back in your life and uh, the divine forces are going to help to bring that in and so we have you moving away here uh, you haven't forgotten whatever that deception was that I saw on the ten of swords you haven't forgotten but you are leaving this challenging energy here behind you and this is going to be very successful for you because I have the nine of coins if this is a business move uh, it promises to be quite rewarding and this is something through your own efforts so you had to have made the effort to get this financial gain this card speaks to now I believe at this point in the cards you have regained the confidence that you didn't have here you have that confidence now to move things towards your wish and the page of swords here on the exit card speaks to me of you making this important decision that affects your life and moves you towards that which is your perfect match that brings you this financial increase you have now at this point regained your confidence you know your own worth your own value and you can advance towards that which you desire and you have made the decision to do so now the Archangel message card I have for you is Isabella and the message on this card is yes the timing is right for this new venture a happy outcome follows your positive expectations so that goes perfectly with this reading and I also drew for you a uh, message from the whispers of love oracle cards and you got be authentic to who you are you are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel I'm going to read that uh, the full message for that card for you Let's find it here in all relationships authenticity is important sometimes it might seem easier to stuff our feelings and do something that we normally wouldn't do be candid and be who you tr who you truly are accept others for who they are and don't feel the need to change yourself or anyone else and so that is a very good message I hope that this has helped someone out there and um, thank you so much for watching and if you would like to book a reading the details on how to do so are in the description box below many blessings to you bye for now